welcome to Ottawa Hills High School where the 2016 VCSN coverage of high school lacrosse begins tonight. With Ben Wilcox, I'm Joe Rodnowski. Tonight's telecast is being brought to you in high def, courtesy of Day White Chevrolet. The place to go is Alexis Monroe, Day White Chevrolet. We have two teams tonight, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum, in Ottawa Hills, who finished losing the state quarterfinals with a 12-6 and six record last year, taking on Bowling Green tonight, who finished at 2-14 and 14 last year, looking to get up into the upper echelon. Yeah, Bowling Green's finally started to get some numbers on their team. They started to get a lot more players, getting a lot more experience. I think you're going to see a vastly different team than you did last year out of the Bobcats. One of the players that shined last year, and they're hoping will shine again this year, is Jimmy Gabron. He came in with 29 goals last year, and he scored three of the first four goals of the season this year. This is the Bobcats' second game of the year. They lost to Perrysburg on Friday night, 10-4. And that's a respectable loss. Perrysburg's a heck of a program, and Gavron only a sophomore as well, too, so a lot of good youth movement coming up through the Bobcats. Meanwhile, this is the first game of the year, the first match of the year for Ottawa Hills, and they're led by Dominic DeMilt, the retired